Good morning, I'm Chris Joseph and uh, I'm restoring Sarah Ann, an 18 foot King Billy Pine day sailor here in Tasmania. Ready about Play uh, When you take her out in a blow, the combing is very weak. I'm going to make a mistake, I better do it on video. A quick tour of Sarah Ann's accommodations. And this is the story of rescuing Sarah Ann from languishing in a shed for most of her 50 years. She was towed all the way up to Queensland and back without even going for a sail. I towed her back to Tasmania and I've been doing her up so that I can get into some pretty adventurous sailing around Tasmania's sheltered coastal waters. It's been a couple of weeks since I first launched Sarah Ann down at Gravelly Beach. And now I'm chomping at the bit to try and get her back in the water. We don't want to leave it sitting around for too long so the birds decide that it's a good place to make a nest. I discovered that uh, when you take her out in a blow, the combing is very weak. Um, the setup of the cleat for the for the jib sheet is uh, in a position where it can potentially actually break that off. So I set out to build some mounting posts and a capping to put a winch on there, like a, a snub winch. much gluing and laminating and planing and I've now got this nice little column out of uh, hewn pine the last remaining pieces of my wife's hewn pine bed and uh, she's just watching as I film this she's got a big smile on her face <laughs> and uh, this is going to be a mounting post for a couple of snub winches either side of the combing on Sarah Ann Since I found your love, it's always been the same I'm never out late, I do anything you ask To get a pat on the back I 
swear that I've been on every airline From Memphis to Seattle to be by your side Then I got nothing left now but a dollar and a dime Can't buy peace of mind And it's all that I am Well that was slow and tedious and involved a lot of scraping It's not exactly a pro job but the result is a pro job Here's a quick tour of Sarah Ann's accommodations. If I could, I swear I would hide your memory away. I wouldn't have to walk around calling out your name. Eventually I might learn other ways, but not today. Skies. We send familiar heartache down telephone lines It makes me want to lock you in the house sometimes Well, I was born a lucky guy And it's all that I am today If I were a little more sane I'm going to make a mistake, I better do it on video no value on fame If I could, I swear I would Hide your memory away Do a little more thinking for myself And stop the blame Eventually I might Learn other ways But not today well, It must have been burning up all the sawdust If I were a little more sane Oh well, I'd probably quit drinking, keep some money in the bank And if I could, I swear I would hide your memory away I wouldn't have to walk around calling out your name Eventually I might Yesterday I managed to complete the, the lamination and the turning of the mounting posts or mounting blocks and, uh, and then with a lot of smoke managed to split this, the epoxy it turns out um, doesn't saw that well, just creates a lot of heat and smoke. Today's job is to begin to create the capping. Now, what I'm trying to achieve here is enough room to mount the winch, the snub winch, and then a little bit of a leg on there, which will be for mounting a cleat, so that it's easy to sail her and manage the sail single-handed. I think the mounting point of the actual cleat, which is about the right distance from the cabin here, I think I'll, I think I'll stick with this position here. So I'll take that off and uh, just see how this other new arrangement is going to fit because it's still very much up in the air. The uh, butyl mastic that I used to bed these cleats in is doing its job superbly well. It took quite a bit of effort to get it off after only a week or so. Very, very tenacious. And so it was that I went into a downhill spiral looking at different concepts for setting up the winch and the cam cleats, getting all the angles and the loads right and making sure that it looks aesthetically right, making sure it doesn't intrude into the cockpit too much. It just did my head in. So I'm going to leave the rest of the story till next week. Thanks for watching. I'm going to finish up with that unforgettable sound, that music to my ears, that beautiful Volvo MD1 diesel just throbbing away quietly in the background as we glide effortlessly across the Tamer River.